Uh, hello and welcome back to my channel Satori Graphics and in today's video we're going to learn about contrast but also a few other things that are going to be really helpful to your graphic design process, workflow and knowledge. And I'm going to teach you in a way that you probably haven't learned before elsewhere. And later in today's video learn how you can get access to Skillshare Premium. Now Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different courses across a wide range of creative areas. These are things like logo designing, just graphic design in general, web design, photography and so much more. So yeah, stay tuned to the very end of today's video to learn more. So we're first going to look at the principle of contrast and that starts by asking yourself, what is contrast? How do you define contrast in graphic design? Quite simply, contrast is just the context of visual design and it can be defined as a difference between two or more different elements on a composition. These can be things like size, color, and so on. And we are gonna look at some really neat examples soon. But the next question is why? Why do we use contrast? Why do designers implement it into their work? There are two main reasons. And the first reason is to draw the attention of a viewer to something easily and something in particular. And again, we will look at this soon. And the second reason is just to make a design appear more interesting. Contrast is really good at doing that. So let's go ahead and look at some examples of contrast in real time. So here is a Nike poster, and it is a pretty simple poster, and I personally would prefer some typography on it, but it is a very awesome demonstration of contrast. And for this first exercise, I would like you to look at this poster, look at this design. Can you see the three different uses of contrast in this poster? Yeah, that's right. There are three different ways contrast is being used here. So let's go over the easiest one first and foremost. We have the contrast of color. As you can see here, the white against the black, or maybe the white against the orangey pinky color here, peachy color. And that is obvious, it is the first and most obvious one you would probably realize. But what is the second form of contrast on this poster? It is actually shape, the contrast of shape. As you can see here, we have a very straight angled pointy lines running along the entire poster. They are contrasted with the smooth curvature of the actual shoe and the logo itself. Now this is somewhat subtle to some people or even unrecognizable, but this allows the shoes, the product in this sense, and also the logo to stand out. Everything else is angled straight line. So that's the second form of contrast here. But can you see the third? So yeah, the third form of contrast is texture. If you look closely here, there's a kind of sandy, color blur texture going on on the background. That is in complete contrast to the shoe itself, which looks very smooth and realistic. It's a contrasting texture. And again, it just alludes the viewer to looking at the shoe itself. I find it interesting how the designer has put black shoes on a black part of the design. And again, I would personally prefer some typography going on here too. But that's an example of having three different forms of contrast on one simple design. Right, here we have a very simple and crudely made business card just to demonstrate something to you guys. In a minute, I'm going to reveal a design to the right, which is expanded from the design on the left. I'm going to use contrast in two different ways on the new design. When concerning a business card, how would you approach contrast to this original design you can see here? Again, there are many different ways to use contrast, and I've gone ahead and used two in a very simple way. So the first obvious option for contrast on a business card is to having one side, one color, and then the other side, the opposite color. And as you can see, it mirrors itself. Here, the background is dark and the text logo content is white. And then on this side, the text logo content is dark and the background is white. This is a very easy way to make an interesting and a pretty neat business card. But the other contrast is also seen as hierarchy, but it is contrast in this sense as well. And that's having different weights of text here, and then also different sizes of text, as you can see comparing over here. There are obviously many different graphic design principles working on a design any given moment, but contrast is one huge aspect of design. But let's move on to look at a few other things. So here is a design of an app, or just a layout of an app. There are many different forms of contrast going on here. 
and I would like you to try and work out and decipher what is going on in terms of contrast. So when you actually pick apart designs in this way, you can then start to think about your own work and how you can apply principles on your own graphic designs. So the first form of contrast is here, with these black labels that clearly stand out all over the app. They do this by standing out in just terms of black contrast on color or white. But one very important use of contrast is found here and in other areas of the app. We not only have different contrasting font choices, font weights, but also font colors, which allude to a very important part that the designer wants to bring an attention to. That's why you always see for sale signs in red or a contrasting color, because contrasting, like I said at the start of the video, does draw attention in very easy ways. But what other contrast elements can you see? Now this area, and all of these areas in fact, are kind of a double whammy when it comes to contrast. Now firstly, the app background is white or grey, but then these areas are in a bold, bright colour section, so they obviously stand out. But then also if you think about it, the photographs themselves are contrasting. I mean we have red on blue, we have blue on orange, kind of bluey, turquoisey on pink, and so on. So there's quite a lot of contrast going on in these areas. But can you see anything else that's contrasting in this design? Yes, the actual UI itself is contrasting the UI of the app or even the phone. We have red dots here, and also up here, the tabs. So yeah, there's a lot of contrast going on here, and I hope you can see now how useful and fundamental contrast is to graphic design. But we still have some more things to look at today. Moving away from contrast for a moment, having these elements here packed closely together in this group here utilizes what graphic design principle? This is called proximity, and it's why we do not have, say, software up here, and then this text content down here, and then these buttons at the very bottom. In graphic design, we want to put elements together that have a correlation or a connection, and that makes it easier for the reader to navigate and absorb the information efficiently. Proximity can be seen in three different areas here. We have one group of content here, then we have the navigation bar together here, and of course the design right here. Proximity is something pretty fundamental, but it's also really simple, and many designers go about doing it without even realizing. I've seen many people or videos or images teaching proximity in this way, you know, just, oh, there's, there's a group of objects here and a group of objects here, just using circles or squares. That doesn't teach the fundamental principle properly, and that's not how we do things here at Satori Graphics. Here I found two different shoe adverts, and you can see how the proximity has been drastically overlooked in the first one, and then in the lower advert, proximity has been used in a very efficient way. I'm not even sure if this advert is real or not, but I did find it on the internet on Google. And as you can see, things in terms of proximity have not been thought out too well at all. And also you can see here there's contrast being used in the terms of the color. But yeah, proximity is very important and it can be used alongside or with contrast as seen here. And on this design, proximity lumps all of this text together. However, this is just a fun exercise to end the video. I want you guys to take note of how this text isn't legible on this design. And what would you do to improve the legibility of the text? This is just something fun that I was thinking about earlier. Maybe you would just shove a black box or some kind of color box here. Or maybe even having it semi-transparent. One really cool way to do things might be a layer mask like this. The text is now really legible and it stands out. And then you've got a really cool design up here of the original background. Contrast is very, very crucial. And also proximity is fundamental as well. And you probably will use proximity without even thinking about it. But contrast, on the other hand, is one of those principles you need to contemplate and plan out. And doesn't just happen naturally. So yeah, the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare. And Skillshare is an online learning community with millions of different users taking thousands of different classes. Now you can actually learn new skills or nurture existing passions, or you might even discover a hidden talent that you might have. 
Now I'm actually currently taking a course by Gustavo Torres and I'm brushing up on my skills even though my routine is pretty jam packed throughout each day. Now Skillshare normally costs just less than $10 per month but the first 1000 people who click the link down below today and sign up to Skillshare will be granted a free trial to Skillshare Premium. So yeah, click the link down below and sign up to Skillshare and discover new skills today. If you want to learn more about graphic design, click your video on screen and until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.